Hello. In the last couple of sessions, we have learned how to use the load data from the text file. In this session, we will learn how we can load data from the binary file. Sometimes, due to security reasons, we might not store data in the text format. We convert it into the binary format, so it becomes not readable from the text editor. Here is a binary file that contains the same data as a session 16. That is 24 record that contain details of the salary and the experience. I will show you how you can generate the your own binary file in the later session. But for now, you can use this file that I have used. You can pull it from the my GitHub repository. Let me create a demo class. Create a execute method. Initiate instance of the ML context. We need to use the load from binary method to load the data from the binary file. And preview it. Add the debugger at the end. Update the program.cs file. Save all the files and run the project. Here you can see that it includes the data for all the 24 records. And values are also proper. This means it extracts the data properly from the binary file. Let's see what we have learned in this session. ML.net allows us to work with the binary file along with the text file. Data stored in the binary files are not readable from the text editors. To load the data, we need to use the load from binary method. Stay tuned for the next session.